Cars people need. Cars people want. Now and in the future. Honda has developed engine and body technologies with superior environment friendliness and safety, plus driving pleasure to match. The metal honeycomb catalytic converter offers 40% lower exhaust back pressure than its high-density ceramic counterpart, reducing related power losses to a minimum. To avoid increasing the engine size, Honda developed a completely new cylinder block. 5 reinforced metal, FRM sleeves and a ladder frame structure derived from racing technology have contributed to the development of a highly rigid compact engine block. The design and production method of each component was re-evaluated to reduce friction losses and achieve the rigidity required for higher RPMs. To drive the camshafts, a silent chain was chosen over the conventional tooth belt for increased rigidity and accuracy within a more compact package. This new generation roller type coaxial VTEC mechanism integrates the sliding pin used to operate the cam profile switch in the roller structure. A new metal injection molding process has also been adopted to obtain the higher precision rocker arm finish required by this new VTEC design. Honda has called upon its racing know-how to design the low friction, high strength, large diameter valve springs required to handle the increased RPMs. Thanks to these innovations, this high RPM, high output, two liter, four cylinder engine boasts a 9,000 RPM limit and a specific output of 120 PS per litre of engine capacity for world-leading performance from a naturally aspirated power plant.
New advances in the development of Honda's low emission technology have led to the achievement of lower exhaust emission levels than ever before. Catalytic converters are mostly ineffective below a certain threshold temperature of activation, making cold start exhaust emission processing both the most challenging and yet the most effective way of reducing overall emissions. Catalytic converters are largely ineffective below about 250 degrees Celsius and their efficiency stabilizes at about 350 degrees Celsius. The quicker the catalytic converter can be brought to activation temperature, the cleaner the exhaust emissions. Honda boasts a proud tradition of research on fuel supply and combustion control. The result has been cleaner cars. Now, with the development of a new multi-port exhaust secondary air induction system and a lowered back pressure metal honeycomb catalytic converter, nitrogen oxide, hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide emissions during cold starts have been further reduced. Optimized fuel supply and combustion control help reduce nitrogen oxide emissions by lowering combustion temperature during cold starts while maintaining high exhaust temperatures for quick catalytic converter warm-up. The newly developed multi-port exhaust secondary air induction system effectively reduces hydrocarbon and carbon monoxide emissions. Fresh air is injected into the exhaust gases so oxygen can react with the hydrocarbons and carbon monoxide helping further raise gas temperature for quicker catalytic converter heat up and greater purification of emissions. The catalytic converter is made of a metal honeycomb which heats up more quickly than a ceramic one. When this is combined with the multi-port exhaust secondary air induction system the time it takes for exhaust emission processing to start is reduced by about 50%. The result is a significant reduction in the release of harmful emissions during cold starts. The new 2-litre four-cylinder engine is the product of leading-edge technology applied with attention to every detail. By combining racing engine-like performance and advanced exhaust emission processing in a compact package, Honda has set a new standard for the car of the future. Honda firmly believes that next generation open body cars must combine lightweight with the rigidity and passenger protection of closed body cars. Striving to create a distinctive open body design, we set aside the parameters of conventional thinking and started anew. The result is an open body with a new high X bone frame. This new frame was the key to the development of a high rigidity open body with superior passive safety. Most car makers reinforce the lower body, including the floor frame and side sills, to obtain the rigidity an open body requires. This approach, however, not only fails to provide sufficient rigidity, it also makes the car heavier. Starting from a fresh perspective, we look to the floor tunnel to serve as a key rigidity member. Both front and rear subframes are optimally laid out and connected to a strong mainframe to create a light yet highly rigid body. The enhanced rigidity of the floor tunnel shaped cross section. In addition, the floor tunnel and the front and rear side frames are all connected for a high body rigidity centerline. With this structure, the body's rigidity centerline is on a smooth horizontal plane from the front to the rear end of the body, improving rigidity.
To further enhance rigidity, the side sills are reinforced with large cross sections. This arrangement surrounds the cabin with a strong three-pronged structure that also distributes the load efficiently. Thanks to this design, high flexing, torsional and sideways bending rigidity levels have been achieved. Despite its lightness, this new high rigidity open body is at least as rigid as a closed body. Making an open body both lightweight and strong enough to withstand collision is not an easy task. Honda has met this challenge head-on, applying the high X-bone frame and devising ways to absorb, impact energy and protect the occupants. Honda has applied its G-Control technology for optimal control of the forces generated in a collision to make the cabin a survival space and reduce the severity of any injuries. Honda conducted tests whose results show that the new open body's safety exceeds all official Japanese, American and European safety standards. The front side members play a vital role in absorbing impact in full flat and offset collisions. The newly developed straightened side members feature double-decker reinforcements. This prevents them from bending. Instead, they crumple like an accordion to effectively absorb impact energy. Impact energy is distributed through the strong three-pronged structure, mainly to the floor tunnel structure as well as to the side sills and floor frame. The result is minimum cabin deformation. The wide cross-section side sills and twin door beams absorb impact energy in a side collision. Impact energy is efficiently distributed among the cross members, the rear bulkhead and the reinforced straight steering hanger beam connecting the two front pillars, minimizing cabin deformation. In addition to the roll bars behind the headrests, the front pillars are of a reinforced twin tube type to preserve the cabin survival space and provide passengers with sufficient headspace in case of an accident. With its high X-bone frame, Honda's new open body offers high rigidity and superior passive safety despite its light weight. Maximizing automotive performance, Honda is setting new standards for the next generation of sports convertibles. Honda believes the 21st century will see further great advances towards safer, more environment-friendly cars that are fun to drive. And Honda will be leading the way.